one. Hey guys, this is Holly, and I completed my author's study on Ted Arnold. Let's start with a little biography. Ted was born in 1949 in New York. He graduated from the University of Florida with a BFA. He met a lady named Carol, who ultimately became his wife, and she got her master's degree in early childhood education and taught kindergarten. Um, well, Ted became super fascinated with the picture books Carol would read to her students, and this ultimately drove him to become an author and create his own books. He eventually moved his family back to New York, where he began his career as an author. Here are some awards that Ted Arnold has received. The Edgar Allan Poe Award for the Young Adult category, the Maryland Blue Crab Young Reader Award, um, Garden State Children's Book Award, the Easy to Read category. He's won this award multiple times. The Volunteer State Book Award, Buckaroo Book Award, and the Parents' Choice Award. Here are the five books that I picked from this author. Parts is a story about a little boy who starts noticing weird things about his body, such as his teeth falling out, finding lint in his belly button, his skin peeling off his toes. He starts to freak out and doesn't understand why all of this happens. But then he later on finds out from his parents that this is all a normal part of life. Um, Hugley's Pizza is a story of three monsters who go on a huge adventure to find pizza because they never had it before. So they end up catching a pizza burglar and go through all these activities in order to taste pizza for the first time. Dirty Gert is the story of a little girl who absolutely loves the dirt and no matter what the parents do, they can't get her out of the dirt. Well, one day she goes out in the dirt when it's raining and the rain washes her dirt all away. She's then forced to be recognized by society in which she hates um, and ends up finding a way to get dirty again and her parents allow her to be herself again. Um, fly Guy Meets Fly Girl is the story of two flies who fall in love and both are owned by humans. And then the last book, the full name is Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiener Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. And this story is about a girl with an obviously really interesting name and her unique habits, such as picking her nose. And the whole story rhymes and is in poetry form. You can also sing along to it, too. Thank you.